Hi and welcome to the next video. Today we're going to look at creating a geometric planter. Now there are many different sizes and shapes you can make this planter and the more unique that you make it the better that it will turn out. Now I've got some rough measurements that I want to try and follow but again you know you're free to make it however you like. Anyways we'll start off by making this simple shape. So the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to start off with our sketch tools and we are going to use um, our polygon and what we're going to use is the edge polygon now we want to make sure that we're in the top view and we basically just want to draw out a polygon probably about 50 mils now once you have your polygon it's got six sides so we want to make sure that from one point to the other point it's roughly around about 40 mils so to do that you can press um, you can use the dimension tool which is by pressing D on your keyboard so if you click on one point and then the other point and then if you draw out I can see that the size is 50 mils so I'm gonna make that a little bit smaller I'm gonna make it about 40 mils and you can see how it changes the entire polygon automatically now you can always come back to that and change the size whenever you want so once we've got our polygon, the next thing that we need to do is we need to extrude it. So our extrude tools, you can just press E or it's in create. So we're going to click on this, the profile. We want to make our taper angle 20 degrees and we want to make the distance that it comes out um, probably about 50 mils or so. So now I have a the, the starting point for our uh, geometric planter. The next thing that we have to do is we have to assign, um, well, we have to basically mirror this object. So to find our offset plane tool, it's in here, it's in construct. And what we are going to do is we're going to offset this plane. So basically we just want to lift it a little bit above so it's not directly on top. And so you've got a bit of distance there. It doesn't really matter about the height because we're only using it as a reference. So now once you have the offset, we then need to mirror this object. So to mirror, we go and we click on mirror. Now, we wanna make sure that we've selected the entire body, okay? And the mirror plane is this offset plane that we just have done. So when I click on that, I can already see that the object is mirrored. So I click okay, and now I have two of the same objects mirrored right on top of each other. We can actually delete the mirror plane, we don't need it anymore. Now, the next step is we need to apply a little bit of rotation to this top um, shape. So to do that, we're going to right click, we're going to click on move. Now, we don't want to select the face, we want to make sure we select the body. Okay. Now, you will need to make sure that you put the right pivot point in. Okay, so if you click on set pivot point and make sure that you put it into the center and then you can uncheck that so that you can actually start to rotate it. Now I'm going to rotate it about 30 degrees but again the more you know unique you make this the different the design will be. So once you've done that rotate your view and I'm rotating my view by holding shift and the middle mouse button or you could use the orbit um, which is this button down here. But we're just going to bring those objects on top of each other. Now, again, how far you, you go in will create different kinds of, you know, unique patterns. But anyways, I'm going to go down about 70 mils so that it intersects just like that. So once you're happy with that, press OK. The next step that you will need to do is you will need to go back and into modify and go into combine and you need to select two different things the target body and the tool body so basically the target is going to be the um the thing that you brought down and the other one is going to be the object that's there the operation that you have to choose is intersect now you can already see that that's what the shape will look like all right you can see all this stuff is going to be cut away and you're going to be left with what's in the middle so when you're happy with that press ok and there's the base of the actual planter now the last thing that you have to do is you have to apply a shell so shell is in modify you click on the top all right and we said our shell um, thickness is about five mils 
So once you've done that, now you've actually shelled all the stuff out inside. And that's basically it. Now there are many different variants of this planter, but that is one very, very simple planter that you can make. So anyways guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.